Hi everybody, good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. We are coming off of a busy night last night with heavy rainfall for some of you and some severe weather. Here's what's uh, left this morning with the heavy rainfall. We still have some flood warnings that continue until 10 o'clock this morning in all the brighter green shaded areas. That would include a large part of Hamilton County and then also uh, west central and northwest Adams County, much of central and northern Kearney County, and then a good chunk of the central part of Phelps County. And again, those areas saw three, four, five plus inches of rainfall last night, a little too much in spots. A flood advisory continues until nine o'clock this morning for southern parts of Polk County and northern parts of York County, where there was some heavier rain as well, but it's not quite as bad as those brighter green shaded areas. So where do we go from here? We still have some lingering rain this morning over southeast Nebraska. That will be clearing out this morning. Clouds holding tough this morning. Mostly cloudy skies becoming more partly cloudy later today. North winds, they will be blustery throughout much of the day today, drawing in that cooler air. Those winds will die down tonight. We'll begin to clear up the skies overnight, especially late night, which will lead to a chillier night ahead of us. Lots of sunshine expected for tomorrow. Late day clouds moving in from the west. Eventually some showers out west as well. That will be our next chance of rain by Wednesday for the rest of us here. But the rain will start out west Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. So let's look at the temperatures for today. Topping out in the upper 50s and low to mid 60s. A little bit below average for this time of the year. Our average high is in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. So we will be a little bit below average for today. Colder 50s out west you see there in the panhandle. A chillier day. Tonight then a colder night as we drop back to the 30s and 40s. Once you get down to around 36, 35, 34, that's cold enough for frost to develop. Now, the uh, North Platte National Weather Service office has not put out any kind of advisory because, or because of this, because they are still considering it a little too early for the growing season to start in their areas. However, the Hastings National Weather Service, they have now started to consider frost advisories and freeze warnings as the growing season begins farther to the southeast. So they have four counties that are under a frost advisory from four o'clock tomorrow morning through nine o'clock tomorrow morning. That's Dawson County, uh, Valley County, Sherman County, and Greeley County, where it could drop down to around 36, 35, maybe 34. Cold enough where patchy frost can develop. And no hard freeze expected, though, nothing like that. Highs tomorrow, we warm back up. I think Tuesday's gonna be a pretty nice day. Not as much wind, a little breezy in eastern Nebraska, but not as much wind for most of us. Low to mid 60s for most of us with a good amount of sunshine. Again, somewhat chilly for tomorrow night. Could see some 30s over northeast Nebraska. And for most of us, not cold enough for any frost concerns out there for tomorrow night and a Wednesday morning. And then your Wednesday rain is going to return to the area with highs low to mid 60s, some upper 60s in southwest Nebraska. We'll have a chance of rain and isolated thunderstorms. The chance of severe weather is pretty limited, though, for Wednesday. As you see there on the uh, three-day forecast, the rain chances returning to the forecast a bit breezy as well on Wednesday. Once that clears out of here, I think Thursday is a pretty decent day, mid 60s with plenty of sun. Then we warm it up for Friday and Saturday into the 70s. There's a small chance of rain Friday morning. A better chance will come Friday night into Saturday morning and during the day Saturday. And uh, it's still kind of difficult to predict the timing and the placement of the chance of rain and thunderstorms. But if we do see thunderstorms, severe weather would be a possibility. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll see a cold front come through late Saturday into Saturday night, and that's going to bring us a, still a chance of rain on Mother's Day, but more, more than anything, cooler weather arriving for Mother's Day Sunday. So if you have plans, plan on a bit of a cooler day there. Uh, chances of rain aren't great for Mother's Day, but can't completely rule that out. We are going to see a setback in temperatures for early next week on Sunday into Monday, a high of 55 on Monday, and then maybe by the middle of next week back into the upper 60s. And it looks like even beyond that, as we move towards Thursday, Friday, the end of next week, which is beyond this 10-day forecast, there are we are going to trend towards warmer weather returning as we get towards the middle of May here, about the uh, May 15th time frame, we could be back to above average temperatures. Most long range models are hinting at that. So a little up and down, more down than up in the days ahead. But uh, again, uh, if you're looking towards warmer weather, I think, like I said, we'll get there by mid-May, the way it looks right now. Thank you all for watching on this Monday morning. I'll be back with you Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock or shortly after. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful Monday. Don't get blown away today. It's going to be a little windy out there. Take care. Enjoy your day. And God bless. Bye.